In this video, I will show you how to update your Gamma OS version for the RG405M, 405V, and 505. This guide requires that you have Gamma OS currently installed. If you are looking to install Gamma OS for the first time, please check my install guide that I have linked in the description. You will not have to wipe your data unless you are going to be moving from the full version to the light version or vice versa. Okay, let's get on with it. Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and we are just going to go ahead and get started. Click on the link in the description labeled Gamma OS Releases. For the latest release, scroll down until you get to Assets. Then click the download link for your device model. Make sure to choose the full or light version, depending on which version you are currently running. If you are not sure, check to see if you have the Google Play Store or any Google services on your device. If you do, then you are running the full version. You can swap to the other one, however, you will need to wipe all the data on the device after we update. After that has been downloaded, go ahead and extract the Gamma OS folder. On the device itself, remove the SD card if you have one. Connect your device to your PC with your USB cable. While your device is on and booted to Gamma OS, hold down the power button and select the restart option. Then select recovery. Your screen will go black for about 15 to 30 seconds and it will boot up to the recovery screen. Here, you can use the volume down and up buttons to navigate to the enter fast boot option. Then press the power button to select it. This will then take us to the fast boot D menu. Once we are here, go back to your PC Navigate to the extracted Gamma OS folder, run the flashpartitions.bat file, and then double check just to make sure that it shows your device model here at the top. If it does not, then hit Control C to cancel this installation. It will start in 60 seconds. Once it does get started, it can take up to 10 minutes for it to complete. You will not notice any changes on your device while this is installing. Once this is done, You'll be prompted with this screen. You can wait for it to close or just hit Control C, type Y and then enter to close it out. Now, if you are switching from the full version to the light version or vice versa, this is where you would run the erase user data.bat script. However, if you are not doing that, you do not have to run this as it will wipe all the data from your device. Now you can go ahead and unplug your device from your PC and hit the power button to reboot the device. It will take a few minutes here to boot up. And then once you get to the Gamma OS screen, it will show that it is updating and take another few minutes. Once that is complete, you are done. You should now be on the most updated version. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe for more content from Firex Techs. If you run into any issues or have any questions, please leave your comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.